situation now where I know 40 acres Time to go. Time to go. Hey, we need to yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure it doesn't um, it doesn't turn into a format where we're right. I just I just wanted to ask why benzene and these zines are what's the hazard? Um, well, primarily, you know, if, if if someone were to drink it, um, you know, different contaminants have different hazards. You know, some are carcinogens, some are not. But again, because the groundwater is five feet below grade, six feet below grade, um, no one's going to come in contact unless they put a well down. And again, generally, most of the contaminants are in the Ripley right away. They're underneath the Plumber, you know, Nielsen shop and underneath Washington and in this buffer zone of some lower level contaminants uh, are around the So that was interesting. Got to see some things going on in the city council meeting. See if we can get a moment. You can look at the minutes online. Uh, they'll probably post it in like a month or so. But see this, this is a perfect example. <coughs> perfect example of one of those moments where you would want a camera, a camera in the middle. Actually, I was tempted to just, I was tempted to give up on this uh, series of videos and just sit in there and just listen. And I probably have sort of a, a duty to do that. But uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do something even more fucked up now that I think about it. I'm actually going to do something illegal. And probably something that will upset some people. And and I hope. I hope that it does. You know? Like, when I was watching Piro. Piro was doing a, uh, a video. And a lot of you probably won't know who Piro is. Um, but I hope some of you do. And I hope, at some point, many... Um, people who happen to just view this, I mean, I don't know, in a year, maybe this will get viewed by ten people, tops. Uh, this whole sequence, this particular part where I'm talking right now, who knows. But, um, if anybody does have the time to sit and listen to these, these videos that I do, or if anybody is interested, then, uh, you'll see. Um, You'll see me talking about, about him because I like listening to him. He's probably, he's one of the people that is, that is doing things a lot like, like I do. He looks at the world, tries to figure things out, tries to figure out, um, like consciousness, for instance. Um, you know, what's going on? Of course... When it comes to things like that, we might not agree, but, yeah. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Um, oh yeah, I said I'm gonna do something illegal right now. And I'm pretty sure this is illegal, and knowing that it's illegal might get me in trouble, but, um, fuck it. You know, I want to change things up. I was talking about predictability. And, uh, hold on. I was, uh, I was talking about predictability. It's good. It's good. Maybe I'll get into substances and uh, why they are so um, alluring to some of us. In fact, I'm sure I will because I've given it quite a bit of thought and I love I love diversity. I don't know what's good 
what's a good follow-up to this? If there's anything else that I want, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a good shopper. Hello. How are you today? I'm pretty good. I'm making a video right now, just walking around. You know, there's a city council meeting going on. Really? Yeah. I was just popped in there. I was talking about the pollution right now. You know where Ripley and Washington meet? Uh-huh. We're talking about how there used to be gas stations on all four corners and how the groundwater is contaminated there. Really? And, uh, yeah. And Duffy, Duffy heard. Or something like that, who owns Duffy's computers. Uh-huh. He's there right now, and his property that's over there is on one of the pieces that they boxed in, and he's there too, and he's there having an interaction. Like discussion. <laughs> yeah. 298. Sir. I love that sort of thing. I love that. Uh, yeah. What's interesting. Things out. Yeah, I mean, that's, and that's official. That's city business. Right. <laughs> well, that, that's how you get things figured out. Yeah, and done. I love, you know, for all the. People don't like government. It has its uses. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's always uses to it. For sure. And misuses. Yes. <laughs> Most people are concerned about the bad things. Well, that's because they don't accomplish anything. They don't make anything better. Um, I would argue against that. Why? Why would I argue against that? Yeah. Well, okay, they put things... Okay, when you say they don't make things better, what do you mean? Well, when when things are going wrong, like uh, like like people who get arrested and get slapped on the hand for doing bad things, like drugs, like yeah. bad drugs, not marijuana. Yeah, street drugs. But I'm talking like, like really heroin hard. and crystal meth and, okay. that, you know, that kind of stuff. And then they get slapped on the hands and they get sent to drug court. And then... They have ways that they can still get high without getting caught. So, what's the sense in, you know, I mean, they're, not all of them do that, I'm sure. No. There's a few choices that do do that. Probably not. And then if they do get caught and they, they pee dirty, yeah. then they go to jail for a minimum amount of time. But it's not fixing anything. It's like all those people down in Detroit that get sent up here to dry out has made this town worse. Because there, there's heroin, there's crystal meth, there's meth labs. Meth labs. So wait a second. What What is the city's responsibility when it comes to these? The, all the, I mean, those are drugs. Those are people using chemicals. You know, it's just right. chemistry. I mean, really, we get all sorts of stuff. There's, there's a chemical lab up in uh, college, and you know, I I, I know, know that you're not going to get rid of it. And I, I, it's going to be there. It doesn't make no difference. It's like you can get drugs in jail. Okay. You know, it's always going to be around. But it's like you know, if they wouldn't have sent them up here to dry out, it probably wouldn't be this bad up here. Is that is that something I mean, that's really? So is that really a big concern for you? Like well, heroin, drugs? A lot of companies up here won't hire anybody from the town because they spend $500 per drug test and they, uh, most of them come back awesome. $500 per drug test. To, yeah, they send them down to pay. So it's like they won't hire so, anybody around so, here. So, so this is always going to be a property town. Because maybe. We'll see. Just stick around, we'll see. You too. What's your name? Karen. Take care, Karen. Karen K. Anyway, it's no coincidence that she brought up drugs because I don't know if you saw what I'm what I bought, but it's nitrous oxide and whipped cream, and I'm going to use it just because I want to be unpredictable. <laughs> but it won't it won't change anything seriously it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I don't want to get on the topic of determinism right now determinism and free will it's a trap discussion I don't want to be in that trap this is cool what the heck is this little thing you see that look a car logo 
with an atom on it, and it's a little beetle thing. What is this device? This is cool. It's a little beetle. Look, they even got a little, little ladybug on there. That is such a cool car. Uh, I wonder if it's electric. TRB. Terrible? Um, TRB. Um, turb, tar, TRB, turbo, 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 if you took out the U and the O, it would be turbo. Now this is interesting, I think these are city vehicles, see, again, okay, I, I was talking before I went on this drug excursion. Before I went on this, <coughs> I, uh, where am I going to, where am I going to use these drugs? <laughs> if I keep referring to them, am I incriminating myself by saying drugs? By recognizing that it's illegal? Is that incrimination? Am I screwing myself over? Maybe. I was just in a city council meeting, maybe 15 minutes ago. I mean, I love this, okay? I love, and when I say this, I mean the city, not my activity. I love government, okay? In, in that predictable pattern sort of way, okay? In the predictable pattern sort of way, I love government. But, in the unpredictableness, I dislike it. When it comes to uh, just life, you know, being, being free of these predetermined patterns that, they're, they're past, they're like these structures and things, they're not they're not so organic. They're... I don't, I don't know. There's, there's a contradiction. There is something definitely worth mentioning. Just, I don't know. I like life. What I'm trying to get at, obviously, I got to If I tell you what I don't like, I should say what I like so that you get the contrast. Okay? I like life. I like evolution. Okay? And yeah, evolution might take millions of years. And our technology might shorten things and, you know, I mean, this is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love, love what we're capable of doing. Couldn't imagine a world where uh, this sort of uh, emergence uh, wouldn't occur. I mean, I could, like um, Avatar or something like that, but even, even in its own way. In Avatar, they had structures, you know, and eventually Avatar, they would have done the same thing or something very similar. Doesn't matter how long something is sacred. If it's, if it's a pattern that is logically best, I do, I do seriously think that it's only a matter of time before such a thing will be discovered and utilized, uh, uh, you know, you know, it really bums me out that these these uh, great buildings they don't get used like they really should. Like this, the armory here. This is what they call it, the armory. Like it really needed an armory. Um, but it's it's going to waste. Kind of to me, it is going to waste. There's a wild dog. Hi. Look at this. There's just a random dog. I am downtown, and this just dog. There's another dog. Hi, hi. Where are your owners? Hi. There's another dog over here. Hi. I mean, they look really tame. Hi. Good dog. Good dog. Where are your owners? Where are your? Where's your master, doggy? He's such a cute dog too. Look at him. Oh, that one's... This dog's pooping over here, I think. 
He's just pooping. They're, they're a little old. Hi. Hi. Good job. I'm kind of scared of those eyes, actually. They're a little disturbing. Hi. Where, where's your owner? Hi. Where's the person that feeds you? Are you guys just chilling out here? They look like cows, to be honest. They look like giant cows. There must be... There. There, see? There's a human up there. He knows what's up. He's calling him. Interesting. Well, I guess that dog's getting punished for interacting with me. So, we have this gentleman inside of this building. Yeah. There's his license plate number if you want it. Not that that's useful, but just lets his dogs out downtown. There's a library over there through this little alleyway, alleyway, river. You know, it's a great part of downtown being here on the river. Guy's kind of just hiding out in there, didn't even pop out to talk or anything. Um, that's a shame. What, what's a real shame is that I just can't be comfortable sitting anywhere to, uh, to do what I'm about to do. I have to find some little alcove because it's not acceptable by everybody else. It's not permissible. It's not tolerable. That's weird. Things... I'm always thinking about what I'm seeing, you know? A lot of times I think about the pe the person, the very person that put it there, or, or the people. Like, that lamppost right there. Who, who were the people that put that particular lamppost into place? Just this one. Probably the same guys, probably guys, that put all the other ones down here into place. Probably somebody that works for um, the city. Now look at look at what do we got here? We got some uh, Alpina's best. See, now you gotta wonder what's the point of this. And I'm not saying it's pointless. I'm saying what is the point? Okay? People are trying to leave their mark. People are trying to be remembered, and they're trying to declare something. It is a form of communication. You know? It is not pointless. It has a point. That, that is annoying as fuck. Look at this shit. Fuck off. No skateboards. I mean... What the fuck is a skateboard gonna harm this? Like, maybe if a, a vehicle driver sped around the corner really fast. No, I think, like, somebody with a, if somebody with a skateboard were standing here, we're standing like here, and maybe somebody with a skateboard was standing on the other place, then people with a skateboard should feel free to, to play to uh, to do their thing there. Oh, I got my sidewalk chalk. Where we had 19 minutes. These are so pointless. The longer I make these series of videos, the less likely somebody is to sit down and watch them. And especially the more that I make, and then just dump a whole bunch at once. You know, I mean, people are just going to get turned off by that, but the more I accumulate of these, um, I mean, and I'm, I'm not really putting any kind of description in them. Maybe in the future, some sort of technology can just go through videos, um, voice recognition, stuff we'll be able to, uh, or sound recognition, visual recognition, software we'll be able to mine videos for data for history but uh 
for now, I'm, I'm not doing what I would like to do. Is I would like to make maybe one really good video a month. Or per year even. And, and just fully, you know, just come up with a good plan. A good idea. You know. And, uh, and then just flesh it all out so that it's really easy for, uh, you know, like with the index. I have an index uh, in the description of the video. In the text description. Starcraft. It's always cool to see uh, Starcraft on, uh, on boats. Hello. I don't know who that guy is. I think he said, I think he might have said my name. So where the heck am I going? <coughs> Away from the city council meeting, obviously. Um, where I should be. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I really, I don't even know. It's nice though. It's nice to feel free. Whoa. Hey, do you happen to have a spare cigarette? I usually don't bum like cigarettes from people, but uh. Hey man, I know how it is. Here, how about that? Oh, sweet, thanks. Here, you're welcome. Have a good day. Oh, can I get a light? <laughs> I don't have a lighter on me either. Thank you. say you know it's uh it's normal for me to want to normal it's normal uh, words i don't know how how people do it and i don't know what's wrong with me or what went wrong with me you know where i can't just be um a normal uh, communicator just a lack of education, lack of uh, determinism, determinism, determination, determination and determinism, determine, determine the future, we are determining the future, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm better off not being as, as uh, ordered 